Hey guys, it's Sam Cawthorn checking in here for today's Daily Minute. Well, I am in Fremantle in Western Australia today, and I spoke to about 600 mechanical engineers here in Fremantle last night. And one thing I was talking about is a thing I like to call cognitive disassociation. Now, I've spoken a little bit about this before, how I live with phantom pain. So basically, if I close my eyes, I can still feel every single one of my fingers. I can feel my wrist and my elbows, if it's all still there on my right arm. Except it's not, because my arm was amputated in a car accident just a few years ago. Whereas I can still feel it. But I live with a thing which is called phantom pain. Um, and you know, and it, sometimes it gets quite painful. But I think we all experience pain in our life, whether or not it's relationship pain or crisis pain or even physical pain, emotional pain, mental pain. But there, so there is a way how we can disconnect ourselves from this pain, and I call it cognitive disassociation. Now, there's a couple of aspects of this, but one of the first things to remember when you when you are experiencing pain, if you no longer want to experience that, or if you want to, you know, sort of um, defocus yourself on it, we have to redirect our focus because focus is a very powerful thing. What we focus on is what we get. So if I focus constantly on my phantom pain, that's what I'm going to feel. I'm going to feel pain all the time, and it's going to distract me from moving forward or focus on anything else. Whereas I purposefully look at ways where I can be stimulated, motivated in other areas so I no longer have to feel or experience that, that full-on pain all the time. Uh, and, and sometimes the pain can get quite bad, my, my phantom pain. You know, imagine the worst pins and needles that you've ever had in your entire life. Times that by 100, that's how my arm feels 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Whereas I consciously direct my thoughts to other areas, whether or not it's focusing on, you know, um, family or my job or on emails or on connecting with people. But wherever you focus on is what you get. If you're experiencing pain and you're focusing on that pain, that's what you're going to feel. So try and consciously direct your thought because that was one of the first processes of cognitive disassociation. This is Sam checking in here for today's Daily Minute. Looking forward to chatting to you guys again tomorrow.